We need an emotional breakdown tally because Sydney is having yet another one. Don't put words in my mouth because you don't know. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> what did I just witness? What did I? Wow. All right, y'all, let's, let's, let's just get into the review because, hey, and I'm gonna say things in the way that I wrote it, the way that I was feeling it, because I know some people only watch the show through me, so I'm gonna take you through the journey that I was going through, okay? It's the second round for the dates, and Kat has serenity on edge. Cheers. Cheers to our first date. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Cheers! I mean, you're like, what every girl needs. Really? Yes. That's how you feel? You're, yes. There's a lot of kiki and gold over there. You laughing kind of hard. So throughout this conversation, Kat is saying she appreciates the gestures that Chaz does for Serenity. However, I don't really hear them talking about much more beyond that. It seems like she likes him for what she, for what he does rather than who he is. So that was a little bit like, mm, kind of alarming for me, but they really did get along. Jared's date with Deb was less about connection and more about exposing Jesse. I almost like wish that I had somebody who could easily like get it out of me. So we'll see. I mean, if you guys are both shy, it's gonna be a little tough. Deb. Deb. Yeah, he's not shy. I don't I don't buy this. I don't know it's the pe if it's the pessimism inside of me. Mm, no. Isaiah is a little bit more composed in this date. Maybe it was just nervous jitters with Kat, but does that matter with Sydney? No. I'm definitely like interested in you. Yeah, and I, I, I do appreciate that, yeah. of course. You can't ever be 100% on someone. This man said you can never be 100% on someone. I don't know if he meant in the show or in general, but I was like, yeah, you're definitely 21. What do you mean you can't be 100% with someone? What's the point of being with somebody, making somebody your partner if you're not 100% on? He really lost me with this one, guys. So after the dates, everyone gets to meet the New Islanders. And while they were having this meet and greet, we didn't really get much information because Deb interjected and pulled Jesse over to the treehouse to kind of debrief post date. The whole time I was like thinking about you. Really? Like the whole night, I just like yeah. wanted to hang out with you. I will, you know, continue to express my feelings to you and you know, I'm really trying to earn back your trust. Baby, at this point, if she gets played, it's her fault. If she gets played, it's her fault. Because it's not like she should take Jared's word as gospel, but she didn't even question him. Like, she didn't even try. And I guess maybe she thought, like, oh, he's really just trying to start drama or something. Because the last time somebody tried to be honest with her, she completely just laid over and took whatever Jesse was giving her. Because Valerie was like, um... Yeah, basically he's two-timing you and she went over and then called Valerie the drama. So I'm not surprised that this was her reaction, but I'm also like, you also don't be surprised when you get played. But then also I am gonna eat my words if Jesse does right by her. And I mean in the long run. I don't mean to the end of the season, I mean in the long run. Isaiah throws me for a curveball. I don't know if he threw you guys for a curveball, but he basically says his conversation with Kat didn't really do it for him. But he's interested in getting to know Nadja a little bit more. Obviously, like, if three dudes walked in, you'd feel something with someone. You'd feel something with someone. You wouldn't say no. Me and Isaiah are married. We're good. Now, I'm not a fan about how he's uh, flipped the script on her because don't say, well, if three new guys came, you, you don't know. You don't know. And honestly, the what ifs don't matter because the current situation is what we're talking about. Don't deflect, all right? However, in his defense, Sydney had her little secret rendezvous, right? So who is she to now be like, 
well, you can't get to know somebody else. At least he's doing it outright in the open and being honest and upfront with you about it. So Cindy doesn't really have much to stand on. However, it is really crappy that it's coming off the heels of the hideaway. Oh, such unfortunate timing. Even though Chaz says he's in a good place with Serenity, he does appreciate that Kat appreciates his gestures that Serenity was taking for granted. You looked happy during your day. You think so? Yeah, very chipper. Yeah. The Villa Gods brought somebody in that was fucking perfect for me. But at the same time, me and Serenity have something solid. Now, here's where things get a little bit spicy. Okay, you guys? Um, They didn't cuddle at night. You can sense the tension between them coming from both sides. Let's be honest. It came from both sides. In the morning, uh, she was upset that he didn't talk to her in the morning. I mean, I would be too. He made up his side of the bed, which she, per she perceived as petty. It just, oof. Let's talk some shit up since you want to sit here and be a petty little bitch. Like you sit here and you want to make your side of the bed. Now, I don't think the whole morning routine thing was petty. Like, what am I supposed to do? Wake you up just so we can make the bed? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just their routine and she felt a way that things are kind of off. However, him, him making breakfast for Kat in the morning, that was petty. That was absolutely petty because you know you make breakfast for Serenity. Now you're making breakfast for somebody else. She only been here a day. Not even a day. <gasps> Chaz. Naja takes Jeff aside for a conversation. This man... <laughs> This man is ready to give up his life savings for this woman. I feel like I can take care of, take care of you, protect you. I love love. Like I just... love love too. I make you fall in love with me though. I know, with I feel her. like we'd look cute together. For sure. Like, like look at us. Hell yeah. <laughs> at this point, I was like, yo, Jeff, Jeff, play it cool, take it easy, because she is conflicted. She's also looking at Isaiah. Selfishly, I want her to pick Jeff. I want Jeff to have a good run in this house. Um, I feel like, there was more energy between their date than hers and Isaiah's, but I guess she already came in with an archetype in mind that she likes to pursue, and I guess that's Isaiah. So I I get where she's coming from, but girl, no, not Isaiah. Jared and Maddie have a conversation, and you would think that now, you know, they've settled in, got a little bit more comfortable with, with each other, the conversation would have a little bit more gusto. It doesn't. I'm definitely someone who like internally reflects a lot mm -hmm. about the stuff that I'm doing. Yeah, me too. I'm like a strong, independent woman and I like bring a lot to the table. So if you can't see that, like that's just not my problem. I think we see eye to eye on a lot of things. She's a really good girl. So I thought that was really important. I need to stop clowning the girl because realistically she is looking for her lifelong thing. Like the conversations aren't gonna be to play play. They're gonna be serious. They're gonna be talking about longevity, the future, compatibility, family planning, financial, uh, 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 everything okay so I understand why her conversations are the way that they are but I'm just like dang Maddie can we get something because I'm sorry the way that these dumpings are working it's gonna have to be a public vote that decides who goes home next because we can't keep Maddie oh not me spoiling the ending let me just stop Chaz and Serenity finally have a conversation and he admits that he was being distant it was unfair of me to you know just not be really be responsive. I like, you know, I want to grow with you. Tell me where your head's at. I care a lot about you. Yeah. You look good as hell. <laughs> I meant to be telling you that all day. But... Where it gets techy for me is I would be on her side if everything up until this point was equal and then he switched up on her. But he's been feeling a way before new people came. So now that somebody new came who appreciates the energy he's giving, I mean, it also is strategic on her end. So I don't know why he's so quick to just be like, oh yeah, that's the one. I'm just like, I can't really pick a side because y'all are both kind of being childish, really, if we're being honest. Him being distant was unnecessary. He could have articulated himself better instead of just icing her out. But she's also, she's also been finicky with him. She has, that's the reality of things. She does though say that the conversation was really good and it ended well. So, okay. Timmy has a conversation with Isaiah <laughs> and he, he advises Isaiah, listen, I've been where you're at. Don't ruin a good thing for a new thing. At the end of the day, I left somebody who I had a lot of history with to explore something so that I wasn't looking on my shoulder while I'm with Zia at Bria. You will be hurting somebody. Follow your heart. Don't worry about the possibilities, bro, because that, that would drive you crazy. With Isaiah, 
I have to constantly be reminded that he's 21. He is 21. Sydney is 22. Naja's 23. These people are hella young. It's it's, it's all about lust and attraction and whatever. Like nobody's really looking for compatibility for like the long, long run at 21 on Love Island. I have to put all those stipulations because I know somebody in the comments is going to be, well, I found my husband at 19. Okay, girl, great for you. Uh, <laughs> not me being triggered and it hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have to be reminded that he is 21, seeing somebody new, somebody fresh, somebody where there is a sexual attraction for, it does kind of make you rethink a good connection that you already have. But Timmy's like, listen, don't get confused. So, you know, the recoupling is looming, right? And for me, I'm here thinking these are coming too damn quick. The, we're dumping people too fast. But then I realize what the issue is. We are actually on the third week, you guys. But it feels like time is going so much faster because we don't have Mondays. That one day is taking out a lot of context and is speeding up the timeline. Because when I actually did the math with this and previous seasons and even the UK season, it's in line with the timeline. But it doesn't feel that way because we're missing a day. Technically it would be like two days or something like that. Like we're missing a lot of the timeline. So I think they have to do it quicker to keep up with, you know, what a typical season would look like. Bring Mondays back. Cause I don't like this. On to the recoupling. Jesse picks Deb and says he'll do whatever it takes to gain her trust back. Bryce picks Courtney saying that they have an opportunity for a long future. Timmy picks Zita and basically professed his love for her. Jared picks Maddie. Well, I mean, there wasn't really another option, so hey. Isaiah picks Sydney because he makes her feel, no, she makes him feel safe, but not her not hugging cat. Oh God, the pettiness of these girls, I can't. Jeff picks Naja because, I mean, duh, that's that was the only option, okay? Last but not least, Last, oh, but not least, Chaz picks Cat. I believe this girl is one of the most beautiful girls I've seen in this villa. This girl is going to be able to reciprocate the energy that I've been giving. Come here, Cat. Y'all, I, I, Chaz. I can't even call you Chazzy Poo anymore. What are you doing? Hey. I mean, I get it. I get it. On a personal level, I understand. But the way that the speech was going, guys, before the speech was even over, I, I wrote down Chaz picks Serenity based off of what he was saying. For him to say all those things and then pick Cat? You know, my mind went straight to, I must be being bamboozled because this must be like a, oh, uh, cat, I'm choosing to go with Serenity. But then that would even be worse because why would you do that? Oh my, God. it's just, <sighs> yeah, I have to drop the video as quick as possible because we need to talk because I am confused. I'm so confused. Y'all let me know if y'all saw that coming. There's no way that you did. If you said that you saw it coming, it's Cap. You could, you could say you saw his head shifting, but you did not see that end result. If y'all say that, that's cap. I'm sorry. I don't even believe you. But anyways, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ooh, y'all, I'll see you in the next one.